Okay, folks, just a quick video to show up, show how to solder up these um, LED matrix backpacks from Adafruit. That is this guy right here. Uh, this is the red one. Uh, and basically, you get this, which is the actual display, and then we get the little backpack, which is the um, driver integrated circuit on a printed circuit board. Uh, but with the display not soldered on. So obviously we have to solder them on. Now, you should always read the documentation <clears throat> for the product when you buy it, because this could change. But right now, that documentation says that you look for the dot that is colored in, which is right here in the lower left corner. And we look for the side of the display which has the writing on it, which is right here. We put this together on that side. Now what happens is that sometimes these pins don't want to line up, like it doesn't want to drop in here on the back. And you can try to kind of wiggle it around and see what's going on. But usually what you end up having to do is look at the individual pins and, and push on them and maybe pull on them even until it finally drops through. Okay, so just to verify the little filled in pad right there writing is on the same side okay and then what we're going to do is in keeping with oops in keeping with good soldering practices we are going to wow that eye is distracting isn't it okay i'm going to put that out of the way here for just a second what we're going to do here is uh we're going to go ahead and solder one pin in this case it doesn't matter which one and we're going to stop and check and make sure that everything is correctly positioned because at this point we could still undo it. <clears throat> and we're going to solder the pin on the opposite side, on the opposite corner. And then we're going to stagger our soldering so we're not soldering the pins that are right next to each other in each case. Okay? So we're going to solder one in the middle. Solder in the middle of that. Solder in the middle of that. And then go back and fill in the ones that we missed. And the idea behind doing it in this order is that we give each one of them the maximum amount of time to cool off before we move on to the next one. In this particular case, it honestly probably doesn't make a huge difference. But I just like to do things the quote right way no matter what. So what you'll notice is put the iron on first to get it warming up. Then we put a little solder in there. Oops. Well, I gotta be careful. And then we get the solder off and then we get the iron off. And if anything doesn't go right, because my tip isn't really well tinned, we don't stay on there with the iron. We get off of it, let it cool, Come back, hit it again. Now we just inspect our work. Just make sure that everything looks okay. Doesn't look too horrible. <clears throat> Put the soldering iron away. We're eventually going to want to clip off those pins, but for right now I'm going to move on to soldering on the header. Now for some reason, they give you a header that is longer than the one that you, or than the number of actual holes in the board. One thing that's really important about this is uh, these things tend to want to break where they want to break instead of where you want to break them. So I recommend holding on to it real solidly like this and then grab it with something and break off the spare ones. You always want to save those extras because you always find a use for them later. Go ahead and drop this into place. I'm going to turn this over and just rest it on that so it doesn't fall out. And then again, what we're going to do here is solder one pin, check our positioning, and then go back and solder the rest. Always do it in that order. Okay, I really need to clean that tip. Right, so that actually doesn't look too bad. I'll go ahead and solder the rest of them. And uh, again, just 
to be in the habit. I'm going to solder these in a nice staggered order. In this particular case, we probably don't need to bother with that because it's just a pin header. But I like to be in the habit of doing things the right way whenever possible. Continue okay. touching the screen until you hear a beep to enable accessibility mode. Okay. I'm resting my hands on a tablet here, which is why you just heard that. Okay, and again, we're going to kind of check our work. Make sure it doesn't look too bad. A little bit too much solder on that one pad, but other than that, we're okay. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and clip off the extra length on these pens. So the way you do that is kind of get it in the grip like this. Hold on to the extra pin and then cut it. Don't ever just do that and snap because that little piece of wire is going to go flying across the room probably through some ventilation hole into your laptop or your desktop computer eventually oops find its way down into the circuit board and short out your beautiful iron uh, and by iron I mean you know your beautiful computer so always hold on to the end of the wire when you're cutting it The other reason for doing that is if you're working, uh, especially in a group, or if you're working by yourself without safety glasses on, which of course you would never do, um, then that end can go flying up and hit you in the face. Okay? So that is how we hook up or solder up a matrix.